So come with me and we've got a little 2012 Ford Fiesta and I think, yeah I have to double check, it's done 32,000 miles. The vehicle came in with the EML light on and we've plugged it in and we found out that we've got a misfire detection in cylinder 3. So bearing in mind now that the car has literally just been pulled in, plugged it straight in, misfire, anyway the car was ticking over, absolutely, it was like a little single sewing machine. So I said to the customer, right, I'm just going to take it down the road and give it a bit of a test drive. So I get back from my test drive now and I mean the car drove perfect. It was flawless, I couldn't fault it like. And then I noticed that the coolant was actually low in it. So I left the car for 10 minutes, leave it standing, let it cool down and what have you. So I thought, right, let's get on the key and give it a big start. So I'm doing this now just for demonstration purposes for you. Like, let's get the key now. And you can see straight away, we've got misfires and cylinder three. But when you rev it, the misfire goes away, as you can see. So, let's go. Let's start by taking the plugger unis out. So we pull the plugs out, and yes, you can see, they look brand new. Now, does somebody already know about this misfire? Or has it just been serviced? Anyway, let's dig a little bit deeper. So I get my boroscope out, and as you can see on the top of the piston, it does look as if there's been water getting in there. So now I've got my pressure gauge on the other tank. And you can quite clearly see there now, water dripping. So we have got a head gasket failure. And that is just a prime example of test not guess. Now this all comes down to a little bit of common sense, a bit of basic checks, because you can have the best scanners on the market. You quite, could have quite easily gone, yeah, coil pack plugs, leads, on your way. And come the next morning, the car's probably going to be misfiring again. So, for now, we're going to tell the customer the news, give him the price on the job. Fingers crossed that he goes ahead and gets it done, because it'll make a good video, this will. Anyway, for now, let's get it sent.